other folk in the academic world, and I want to throw them in there, but I want to make sure that I don't say nothing that is over nobody's head. So I try to bring it down to my level. Amen. Y'all understand my level is? My level is, oh boy, born in the slums on Hungry Hill. Amen. Right. And, and, and God blessed me Amen. to get a little education. Amen. Uh, Amen. But 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 not everybody got the same education I got. Amen. But everybody done learned some stuff off of the off of the the, light, the 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 school of hard knocks. Amen. 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 We, we we all know how to how to how to get by. If you don't know how to get by, you show in trouble. <laughs> Amen. Because that's the first thing you got to learn. We call it common sense. And some folk ain't got no, ain't got no common sense. Amen. They just got books that say, we, we, what do we do when we run into people that got a number of books that we laugh at them? Yeah. <laughs> we call them educated fools. No, no. Y'all know I'm right about that. They got no common sense. So, so we think we know how to make it. But, 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 so it's hard for us to understand that all this stuff that we've been struggling to acquire and to get, that it ain't going to mean nothing when Jesus comes Amen. Back. So you right. So, so we, 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 we have a challenge right there. Amen. You mean I'm supposed to not care as much about my nice recliner that I saved for six months to get? And I got to get up out of that to go serve the Lord. Yeah. Mm. Better still, I, I got my nice car with my nice seats, you know, leather, whatever. You know, I, I don't know about y'all, but you know, you get your nice car, you keep it. You don't ride down no dirty roads. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't let no dirty people ride in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and look real hard at people with little children. Oh, yeah. Y'all oh. <laughs> yeah, know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Amen, because that's your pride and joy. Mm. And you worked real hard to get it, so you tried to take care of it. You know what Peter said? You're going to be burned up. Yes, sir. You're going to be burned up. You need to be looking and working towards something that's going to be here. Amen. Something that's going to sustain you. And it ain't nothing that's physical. Yeah. All this physical stuff, all it does is make us sad, you know. Come on. You, you understand what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. if you ain't never had, you know, I'm, I'm trying to use you. So I went to Paris one time. If you ain't never been to Paris, you might want to go there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because you whole lot of money to get there, a whole lot of money to stay there, and you ain't going to have no real fun while you're there. Yeah. And it's going to cost you a whole lot of money to get back home. And when you're going to say, I went to Paris, but, but you're going to be like me, man. Them folks go that crazy. <laughs> they drive like a bastard, you know, and, and it costs a whole lot. And ain't no American over there. There's delicacy over there. It's French fries. Go to some place. And, and you've been wanting to get there, but once you get there, you figure out, what, why am I going to get here? I, 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 I flew for 10 hours to get here and 11 hours to get back. My back, back, both legs was cramped up and hurting. And, but, but, but we want to go there. You understand what I'm saying? And we prepare for it. You know, I got a brother, they, him and his wife, they like to gamble. Well, the wife really like to gamble. They like to take them cruises. And they prepare six months for the next cruise. That's right. They love it. I don't, I, don't, I don't need that much water in my life. So I'm not interested in getting on no cruise. But they love it. And, and that's more important to them than some. I'm not going to say it's more important because they are church folks. But, but some of us get so caught up in material stuff that we forget about the eternal stuff. All right. I, I don't care what age you are. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. We want stuff that we want. And we wouldn't to go to lengths for it. Y'all know that? Amen. I know y'all ain't never did, but some folks have did stuff that's criminal to try to get what they want. Amen. 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 And we'll spend time <laughs> Amen. We'll spend time locked up. And as soon as they get out, you know what they're doing? Same thing again. For material, something that's going to be burned up. Yes, sir. Peter said, you, you, you worried about the wrong thing. Mm. Worried about the wrong stuff. You need to start looking for some other stuff because 
10, he says, But the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. In other words, there ain't going to be no alarms ringing. There ain't going to be no change in other God. Ain't nobody going to give you no emails or voicemails. Ain't nobody going to twit about it or tinker right. about it. You're coming back and you can be looking at whatever you want to look at. But if your life ain't right in Christ Jesus, he going to catch you on the web. My Lord. And it's going to be too late to get right. Y'all yeah. yeah, don't understand that, do you? Mm -hmm. See, a lot of us think because we're young, we got time. Yeah. Uh, let, let me tell you something. We're living in the last days. Yes, sir. No, not in the first days, in the last days. Now, I'm not saying that the world going to end no time soon in your lifetime, but the last days are here. Yeah. God is now uh, plotting his course for coming yeah. back. Yeah. And, and and like that, what the old song when we said about, about, about seven Santa Claus is coming to town. Coming to town, he's checking his list. Making his list. Checking it twice. You're going to find out who's. Naughty or nice. God already knows where you are. So he sent his word to try to help you change. Mm. Peter didn't come here just to, so we'd have something to talk about. Peter come here to get your attention. Amen says that you need to be looking for Jesus Christ coming back because he's coming back. Yes, sir. Those of you who don't want to believe that, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. Those of you who don't want to change the way you think and act, that's your choice. Because I realize it is a challenge to change the way you have thought all of your life. Y'all hear me? A lot of us been raised. Amen. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Some of us just been raised in the wrong way. When I say in the wrong way, but what no emphasis given the church in that day. Amen. The, the, the emphasis was given to you, you making it. You, you better do what you have to do to make it. Uh, the, that was the emphasis because we were struggling. Yes, sir. And we were we were trying to get what the mother folk got. And if you live in Austin, people who live across I-35, they seem to have everything. We, we over in the east side were struggling. Well, let me tell you something. The, the folk on the other side of 35 that came over to the east side now, and, and they're pushing us all the way out. I'm talking about the folk who lived there before. Yeah. But they 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 taking that that same property that we thought was nothing, and they turned it into something. Amen. So we we need to we need to realize there ain't nothing permanent on this earth. Amen. Nothing, nothing is for sure on this earth. The only thing we can trust in is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The only thing that we can depend on is Jesus Amen. Christ. Yes. Because the rest of this stuff, they give it and then they take it away. Amen. Ain't that right? Yes, sir. You go down and get you a big mansion. You know how you be, everybody want a nice house. You go get it, but as soon as you can't tell, pay the payment, you don't know how. And none of us know what tomorrow will bring. Nobody knows. All we can do is hope. And all of our hope is in Christ Jesus. It's not in worldly stuff. Because this worldly stuff, you ought to know for yourself already. Yes, how much sir. you love something for a little while, but then somebody stole it. Mm. Or you have grew it. Yeah. Or it broke. Mm -hmm. Or it tore up. And you just loved it. And some, we still hold on to some of that stuff, don't we? Amen. We got a whole storage room full of it. They got stuff we don't want to let go of, but we don't really want it no more. That's why it's in, in storage. <laughs> we, store, we store it up because it is our, used, our lived is usefulness, but we don't want to let it go. Amen. But now, we'll let go of that Bible in a minute. Come to church in a minute. I don't know where my Bible is. Yeah. We, we, we had a whole stack of them back there in the back. Nobody ever come to claim them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Didn't put your name in. I put my name in all of mine. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I got plenty of them, but I don't want to lose none of them. Because they all might be something that I need. And, and I keep one wherever I am. I got them in my car. If I'm in my car, I got them in my Bible. Because those are the only things going to help me. The yes, Word of God is the only thing that's going to get me through. I can ask you where to go and you may give me the wrong direction. Huh. You set up and put all your, your faith in one person, that person don't know nothing. Yeah. I tell people all the time, be careful who you ask to pray for. Amen. Amen. 
They may be praying to the wrong God. All right. All right. Because everything that look good ain't good. Right. Everything that glitters ain't gold. Yes, sir. 